Like after a court battle with the Star newspaper, investigators now have finally released a 434 page report on the borderline mass shooting. It includes previously unknown facts about the attack, as well as surveillance and body cam footage that's never been seen by the public. And while it is dramatic and chilling, we've deliberately avoided the more disturbing images, but of course some of you may still find this hard to relive. Take a look. No one that's just reporting. Yeah, I heard some gunshot on a uh, borderline. It was just after 11 o'clock on November 7th, 2018, when former Marine Ian David Long, dressed all in black, walked in the front door of the borderline dance hall and immediately opened fire on the more than 250 people inside. Everybody stay down! This body cam footage shows police units on the scene in less than two minutes as 911 dispatchers fielded more than 90 calls for help. I've been, I've been hit. I'm bleeding everywhere. People are running everywhere. My friends are inside. This surveillance video shows Sergeant Ron Helis, one of the first officers on the scene, leading an entry team to the front door, then cautiously moving in, sweeping his rifle from side to side. The shooter by then had made his way to an office where he was still firing and throwing smoke grenades into the panicked crowd. The Ventura Sheriff's Office writing, hundreds of patrons scrambled to get out of the bar or hide any way they could. Many threw tabletops and chairs through windows, while others hurled themselves through plate glass windows to avoid certain death. 128 bar patrons were injured in the stampede to get out. Dozens of them ran into responding officers. Is anybody hurt? No, we're going to check. All right, this way, right here. Keep your hands up where everybody can see them. Those who couldn't escape hid in the bathrooms and the attic and called their loved ones and police. There's a shooting at Borderline. Is anybody injured? I don't know. We're hiding. The investigators found that during his attack, Long, who had a 45 caliber handgun and a half dozen large capacity magazines, would fire 61 rounds into the bar, killing 11 people. I want to go to the front and make, see if you can make contact with Helis, see if you need anything. Unfortunately, by the time those backup officers reached Sergeant Helis near the front door, he had been shot by the suspect and caught in friendly fire. He would die at the scene. 20 minutes after the massacre erupted, Long would take his own life while sitting on the office floor. And police are describing the shooter as an unpleasant antisocial combat veteran who hated civilians, especially college students. He visited the bar's website just six days before the massacre and then apparently picked Wednesday the 7th because it was a country western themed college night. Cher, I'll throw it back to you in the studio.